Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this is part 14 of our Unity series on making a point-and-click adventure game. In our last video, we set up our um, observer camera so that we can look at a 3D model um, and got it to populate um, a sort of rig that we have with um, the model that we want to look at. I can actually quickly hit play and show you that here. So we zoom in, we go to our cube here, and then when we click on it again, it makes this camera appear which has um, a shade over the scene, the rig, that then holds the cube inside of it. Um, now, the issue we have right now though is that when we click and drag around the scene, we're not, we're still looking, able to look around the scene and we're not rotating our object actually, which is what we want our end result to be. So in this video we're going to look at fixing both of those things. So I'm going to hit uh, pause there, we can cut out of the game, and we can jump into Mono Develop. You're going to need two um, scripts here that we're going to be looking at today. The first one is the Observer Camera script. If you don't have that open, you can just go to your Observer Camera and it should be um, attached there. If it's not, please do include it now. Um, secondly, we're going to be opening up and looking at our mouse POV script, which I believe we attached to our camera. Yeah, we have that attached to our camera rig, or you can certainly open it in your assets. And the reason we're doing that is two reasons. Number one, we're going to need to disable the mouse POV script in order to um, in order to make sure we're not looking around the scene when we're looking at our 3D model. And secondly, what we want to happen with the 3D model to be able to drag and look around all angles of it is very, very similar to what we're doing with the mouse POV script. So we're actually going to be able to kind of copy and paste a lot of that um, content for our own purposes. But first, let's fix that issue of looking around the scene. So if we look here in our update function in mouse POV, we see that it says um, if we're if we're holding down the button and, and dragging is what all this here is basically saying in a nutshell. And then we check, is currently, is the image viewer canvas up? And if it is up, then don't, don't do the rest of this, just return. Well, we, wanna, we don't want to just say that here. We want to say if the image viewer canvas is up or if the observer camera is active. So we can actually just copy this too, which is convenient. And we're going to say, or, paste it again. We don't want to say the exact same thing twice, though. What we want to do is change this to the OBS camera, and that's the reference to our observer camera. So now we're saying if the image viewer camera is up, or if the observer camera is up, then we don't need to actually move the camera, or our main camera. Uh, we can just return here. So if we save that and go back to our game, we should see now, if I hit play here, and we go to the table, go to our cube, activate this, and now if I I can drag around, nothing happens, which is what we want. We don't want to be looking around the scene. So that's all good. Now what we want to do is take that same idea of rotating the camera as we drag around and implement that on the actual model we have on the observer camera. So to start this, uh, we're going to need some of the variables that we have here, but not exactly all, very much fewer of them, frankly. Uh, we want our public transform for the model and for the rig, and then we're going to add a public float that I'm going to call sensitivity, and we're just going to make that equal to 3f. You can make it whatever you want. I think this has a pretty good feel to it. This is basically the equivalent of these two um, floats here, but we're just going to use one, one number for both of them. Secondly, we're going to need two quaternions, and these should not be public. One we're going to call model rot for model rotation, and the other will be rig rot for rig rotation. And these are roughly the equivalent of these two here, the um, x-axis and y-axis quaternions that we had in mouse POV. So with all of that, we can now copy pretty much everything in here from update down through clamp around, clamp rotation around x-axis, because we are going to want to keep that as well. 
So I'm going to copy all that, hit enter a couple times, and paste all that in here. We're going to get a lot of red showing up for a second here, but don't worry, it's going to fix itself very quickly. So first thing we're going to do is we can look at this, this uh, update function and say uh, we still want this part here about um, getting the mouse button and checking that it's dragging, but then we obviously don't want it to return if the canvas or the camera is up because the camera is always going to be up. So we can delete all that. There is one case I think where we could ignore this and that's if ever um, our model up here for some reason didn't populate. Um, so what we can just do is say if model equals null then return because there's no need to rotate around something if nothing is there. Um, there's probably a bigger issue at that point so we should maybe throw a um, throw a debug you know uh, warning or something but we're just gonna do that for now just to um, kind of leave all, it's almost more of a placeholder here for if there's other reasons that you would want to ignore rotation. Now um, the x-axis and y-axis here are we're going to change up a little bit like I was saying before this quaternion model rot and rig rot kind of relate to the quaternion x-axis and y-axis and likewise the model and rig up here relate to the um, the rig the rigs x-axis and y-axis that we had built in our camera so we can actually just swap these out and do kind of the same idea here we're going to say model rot equals and instead of this whole rig we can just say model rot dot and we don't actually need local rotation we can just say rotation now uh, or actually we don't need model rot there sorry we just need model model dot rotation and likewise here rig rot equals rig dot and I'm just gonna say rotation save that um, we had originally called this look rotation because it was chain it was rotating where the camera was looking we're not really rotating our look now we're rotating the object that we're um, that we're going to be inspecting so we're gonna change this to object rotation and we're gonna actually change that function call here as well object rotation this is a very simple fix we're just going to change these from X sensitivity to sensitivity and likewise for Y sensitivity and then y-axis and x-axis here again are going to change to be um, model rot and rig rot. Now the other kind of funny thing is when we were doing this with the camera we we're looking from the camera's perspective so how we drag was really almost like turning our head. Now because we're looking we're outside of the object looking in at it um, these directions that we're giving it are actually a little bit counterintuitive so we're going to actually swap their um, positive and negative there so that this is a negative y and this is a positive x and that's just going to make it all feel a little bit better um, when we drag the rotation is going to feel like it should um, we no longer have a clamp vertical rotation boolean so we can delete that but we are still going to want to clamp the rotation of our rig. So we're going to say rig rot clamp rotation rig rot uh, rig rot and that's just going to say that for our rig we don't want to be able to go all the way to 90 degrees up or down. And let's actually fix that right now because how we had this in the original was that we had a settings that we could put in there and say you know oh I want maybe it's 60 and 30 for this one maybe it's negative 80 to 80 it could be any number of things and you might want to reestablish that of having a variable for each object maybe you have a default for them but then you can adjust those depending on if you only want to look at the sides of an object versus the top and bottom etc um, but for now I'm just going to put in some hard-coded numbers here I'm just going to say negative 80 and 80 which will give us almost getting to the top and bottom of the object and for all intents and purposes it's going to look like you're at the top and bottom but it's not going to risk getting into a gimbal lock or start you know flickering funny on us lastly we don't have all of this smooth business here so we're just going to delete all of that which was the smooth rotation we don't really need that for the purposes of rotating an object around you kind of want it to feel like you have that fine fine-grained control 
And again, we're going to change these to be, uh, we're gonna get rid of all this and just say model.rotation equals model rot and rig dot rotation equals rig rot. So those are all of the changes that we're making from update object rotation and in the clamping, um, adjusting what we're clamping to. We save those and if we go back into Unity we should now see, we hit play here, we can click and click and we go to our cube view and now we see that as we drag around we are rotating our cube around so we can see the bottom, we can see the top. As you see here we get almost to the top but not quite and you can certainly rotate around it so you, like I say, you're really seeing almost almost the exact top of it. It's just not gonna risk getting into a gimbal lock and doing any sort of funny um, camera movement or object movement. Likewise down here, you can see there's that little bit of an edge. You're not quite looking at it dead on, but for all intents and purposes, it's gonna give you the same amount of information. And we can rotate it a full, oops, not if I do that, but if we rotate it a full 360 degrees around over and over again, that all works perfectly. So, uh, the last thing that we're going to need to do with this is just to um, actually have it close out when we're done with it. We can do that with another quick line of code for ourselves here. Um, in our update function, right now we're just saying if we are dragging, then um, we want to drag it. But we can also just actually do a quick check here and say else if input dot get mouse button down one, which is our right button. So very similarly to how we are checking everything out, when we want to back away from a location, we right click, or when we want to back out of the image viewer, we right click. We can do the exact same thing here. Add in a check for a right click. So if we're not dragging and we right click, then we want to close out of this. So I'm just gonna put in here for now though, close out of um, object observer because we are actually gonna save that. There's a, a few lines of code there, and so rather than making this video extra long, I'm just gonna finish this one out here and say I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.